Right, here we go. Hi everybody, I'm Jennifer Marshall, Executive Director and Co-Founder of This Is My Brave. We're here today with another episode of our Getting to Know Our 2020 Storytellers. Today we are here with Nicole Kwan from our Houston cast and also Melissa Nolan, our Houston producer. So Nicole, thank you so much for doing this with us. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided to come out for This Is My Brave. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Um, so um, my story is pretty um, simple, I guess. Um, so I'm an immigrant from China, and then I ran into some mental health issues in high school, And um, but I tried to share my experience with others through um, advocacy works and by sharing my stories. Um, and Melissa kindly encouraged me to um, share my story through This Is My Brave, so here I am. Definitely. Um, I've known Nicole for, you know, a little bit longer now through other um, mental health, mental illness advocacy work around town. And I guess, you know, since it was kind of hard to get you to audition and tell your story, what did it feel like when we asked you to be a part of the show? Um, I was kind of scared because I I was hospitalized um, right before uh, Melissa asked me to audition. So I was like, uh, am I um, like good enough in a good enough place to be auditioned and share my story? And then uh, Melissa told me that it's okay. Um, being um, being a little bit depressed doesn't mean you cannot share your story because that's part of your journey. And that's what this is my brave is about. So um, yeah, I feel like, and I met a lot of like cast members who encouraged me that it's okay to have ups and downs. And another thing I remember is that um, Melissa told me sometimes you have um, like low ups and downs and then, and that's okay. And that's just part of your journey. I completely agree, Nicole. I mean, I feel like this whole COVID pandemic, uh, um, not only living with bipolar myself, but like then throw in a pandemic in the mix and there's definitely that roller coaster of ups and downs. How have you been doing since coronavirus started in March? Um, that does definitely affected my life um, because usually I would um, do my work from um, Starbucks, but right now I have to stay at home, which is not really productive for, for me because I always want to be with my dog and then um, not trying to do my work because playing with my dog is much more fun. Um, so yeah, and the mental health wise, I think um, is um, before um, COVID, I can get I can get out to hang out with friends. But right now I can't really do that. Um, so I spend a lot of time with myself and do some um, like self reflections. So I read some books and stuff. So I think um, I'm doing okay overall. What did it feel like you know, in the midst of everything going on when we had to let you know the show was going to be postponed? Um, I was feeling like that's okay because I'm pretty sure everyone in the team is doing everything they can. And um, and I really appreciate whatever you guys do. Um, like behind the scene, there's a lot of planning going on. Um, so I um, totally agree with you guys' the decisions because um, safety first. Um, so um, yeah, I'm okay with that. And then I think sharing my story virtually is a different kind of experience as well. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Good. Were you able to interact with any of your castmates or were they able to act as any of, bit of a support system for you during um, COVID? Yeah. Um, so I think the support system I need is like just to go through their Facebook posts because I'm an introvert, so I don't really, um, so I prefer to like keep things to myself, but at the same time, I want to know they're doing well. Um, so I just like their posts and then that's kind of, that's good enough for me. Like I don't need to <laughs> call everyone every day. So yeah, I think um, interaction for me is just like sometimes comment in, under the posts and then like their posts. Um, so I think it's like different kind of interaction, but it's definitely meaningful in um, in a pandemic. Nicole, have you ever, I know you've been involved with a lot of advocacy work and you've shared your story that way. Have you ever done it in such a public forum as like on stage or even given that we're gonna be virtual like through um, a wider audience like This Is My Brave? 
Um, no, this is my first time. So that's why I'm really excited about it. Um, a lot of the stuff I do is behind the scene and then is working with different um, mental health professionals or um, nonprofit professionals as well. So I don't really get a chance to share my story with a large audience. I Sometimes I share my story with um, residents at um, some psych unit, units, but that's pretty much it. Um, but I, I, I'm I really excited to share my story with all kinds of individuals and different kinds of populations. Um, so yeah, um, I'm excited for it. Good. And I mean, I know we're doing this year virtually, you know, and that's how it's worked out. But are you still looking forward to being able to take that stage one day when we get back into the stage performances? Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, it's, I, I remember I went to the This Is My Brave show in 2019. And then there, are, I don't know, 200 people there, more than 200 people. So um, it would be a new experience for me. So I always tell myself it's better to to fail it. I, I mean, I try not to fail it, but I would, it's I better take chances um, to um, experience new stuff than to regret that you don't do it. Um, so, yeah. I love that. That mm -hmm. is the whole reason I started this organization because when I first opened up with my story, I didn't want to re regret not telling my story someday. You know, that's a piece of me and just as it's a piece of you and I'm so proud of you for, for coming forward and being a part of this organization. And what is it that you hope that the, the audience takes away when they hear your story? Um, definitely, I want um, the audience to know that um, sometimes you do need to check on um, um, the quiet ones in your school because I, I was so quiet and but I was so depressed um, that people thought I was just like that. Um, so yeah, I would say check on um, people you know regularly, maybe just saying hi or or just good morning um, um, or just check in like, how are you doing? Um, just simple things like that can have a long way. Um, also, I feel like, um, um, I think mental health in the immigrant, immigrants population are really important as well because um, because of like some language barriers. When I was in high school, I didn't get the help that I needed. Um, so I think um, if we could pay more attention to, I would say the minorities, um, that would be great. Um, but at the same time, it's okay to um, have mental health um, conditions uh, as an immigrant, even though you feel like you're not doing well, but, but um, remember that it's okay and there's always hope out there. I love you so much. I think you're just so beautiful and amazing as a person and so brave. Um, is this something, you know, that you would be comfortable telling others about or that you want to continue, you know, recommending in the future and being a part of? Yeah, definitely. I, I read to a few, a few of my friends about this is my brave and then they're like, yeah, we're interested in it. We might, you know, share our stories um, in, our, in the next show. So, um, I think, I think I, yeah, that'd be great because I, I think I chose, um, I don't remember her name, um, but I think I told one of the cast members about This Is My Brave. Um, yeah, so I, so whenever I have like a great uh, opportunity to share our mental health journeys, I always want to tell people. So This Is My Brave definitely is one of them that I want to share with everyone. Okay. Well, Nicole, thank you so, so much for being a part of This Is My Brave, for coming forward to share your story as part of the show. We can't wait to hear your performance piece in the show in October. Thank you again for taking the time to do this interview with us. Thank you. I really look, I really look forward to it. <laughs>